Channel Islands National Park located in Southern California is full of amazing wonders. But almost all of them are invasive. One of the many invasive species on the Channel Islands are the eucalyptus trees. These trees are native to Australia. They were brought to California around 1850 during the gold rush by Australians seeking gold. The trees were brought in because of the serious demand for lumber for construction and fuel. People brought the trees to grow and cut down as soon as they were big enough. The trees were also brought in as windbreakers for the farms in the area. The farms were lined by the trees so that the hot dry wind couldn't destroy the crops. However, the eucalyptus takes up valuable root space and needs lots of water. This takes the water away from the native plants that need the water. Invasive species such as eucalyptus trees cause an estimated $138 billion in economic damage in the United States each year. Another invasive plant on the Channel Islands is the black mustard flower. They were brought to California by Spanish colonizers in the 1700s along with other plants from Europe. Like the eucalyptus, Black mustard takes resources away from the native plants. When summer comes, they dry out and become perfect fuel for fires, further endangering the native plants. Because of the dangers to the native plants, invasive plants such as mustard and eucalyptus may be relocated by the National Park Service. The steps that are taken to remove invasive plants involve early detection of the species. If they can catch the species early on, then there will be less to remove as long as they respond rapidly. Rapid response then prevents the species from spreading and further harming the native plants. However, Channel Islands had not become a national park until decades, maybe even centuries, after invasive plants had taken over, and therefore they were kept there because of their historical value on the islands. Because of their dangers to the native plants, we encourage you to only plant plants that are native to your area. The National Park Service is working to detect and eliminate invasive species from national parks and they will continue to do this well into the future.